Now that we have installed KPAX, what I want to show you is how to run KPAX and how to load CT images into KPAX for viewing. On my computer, I put KPEX right next to my folder radiographic skills. This is a shortcut. If I click on the shortcut, KPEX will load. I'll get a message from KPEX asking do I accept the terms uh, and conditions of using this software, and I accept it. To load the CT images, I first go up to File Systems. Click on File Systems and this menu will appear. What you see is all the various files and folders that I have on desktop. Since I put radiographic skills on desktop, I click on that folder. I click on Unit 1 to open that up. Then I go to Image Files. Now I have, or under Image Files, five different image files. We'll start off with number one, normal thorax. We click once and we say accept. Now sometimes we may get a message about accepting a library. In this installation I did not get that message, but if you get any message that appears, accept them. Anyhow, now I will click on the patient 9750 to load the images. And here we have it. We have loaded the patient that we want to study first. This is the screen layout that KPEX uses to display the images of any patient that you load into it. What I want to focus your attention to is the top of the screen. You notice up here we have 11 different thumbnails of all the image stacks that were loaded from the patient that we are calling normal spine. What is a stack? A scanner takes a series of pictures as it slices through the body, much like cutting slices through a sausage. Here's a picture showing the location of different slices through the head of a patient. The result of this scan would result in 71 slices, all of which are displayed in this panel. However, this is not a very convenient display for studying and finding trauma and pathologies. It is preferable to look at one slice at a time. This is slice 40, taken from this location right here. When organized and stored on a DVD, all 71 slices through this patient head will be put into a digital pile of images called stack. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. What's being displayed is the first image in the first image stack. And if I put my cursor over this image stack, you see it says T-spine coronal. So this means thoracic spine coronal sections. In this T-spine coronal stack, you notice there's a number 77 up in the left-hand corner. What that means is that there are 77 slices in the stack. So how do we see individual slices, or how do we move through the slices in the stack? If I put my cursor in the middle of the screen and scroll the wheel, I will scroll through the image stacks from top to bottom. And you can see indeed it's a coronal stack, or coronal images. I can also scroll through the images by moving my cursor all the way to the bar on the right and simply pull down or pull up the image there. That's a second way. Or I could use the cursors on my computer, the up and down arrows. If I push down on my arrows, I go down through the stack. If I push up, I go up through the stack. This stack of coronal sections has a total of 77 slices. As we scroll up and down through the stack, how do we know what section we're looking at? 
The answer is found in the bottom right hand corner. We're looking at image 47. As I scroll down through the stack, the numbers get larger. I'm going to move my cursor over to the right to the scroll bar and move it up and you notice that the images get progressively smaller. I want to digress for a minute and click out of this particular screen and reload the patient CTs into the computer. So I'll double click onto the patients. This time the very first image in the series of 11 stacks uh, is a what we call a scout. This is a low-powered x-ray showing an overview of the thorax. And radiologists would look at this to get a sort of an idea of what pathology or trauma might exist. Typically, a scout will be the first image in the series of images up here on the thumbnails. Why it was different when I began this tutorial, I don't know, but that's where I started. The second image is axial images, axial sections. Typically the second images will be the raw axial sections that were scanned from the patient. Um, how do I load in these axial sections? It's very simple. I left click on the thumbnail, hold down and drag. And there's the axial sections. Now if I want to scroll through these sections, I'll go to the scroll bar over on the right, pull down, and I can go right into the middle of the axial sections. This ends the tutorial on loading uh, and using KPEX. The next tutorial we will be discussing tile panes.